Hi, and welcome to the Open Minds Update. I'm Maureen Ellsbury. In our last update, we reported about a farmer in Beardstown, Illinois, who discovered a crop circle in his wheat field. Since then, a few more have popped up in the UK. The Daily Mail reported a floral design with six interlocking petal-like crescents found in the historic Wiltshire field. They go on to say that, the ancient site, the tallest prehistoric man-made mound in Europe, is considered a hotspot for the bizarre phenomena. The next and most recent crop circle that has gained international attention is the 200-foot pattern found just a few yards away and across the road from Stonehenge. The circular pattern has 12 triangles overlaid by three circles. It's interesting this crop circle landed next to Stonehenge, which already holds a sense of mystery. With the Atlantis shuttle program coming to an end and its final landing this week, SpaceX seems to have taken over the reins and privatized the future of space flight. PayPal co-founder Elon Musk and his company, Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX, broke ground last week at Vandenberg Air Force Base for the renovation of a 1960s era launch pad. The updated launch pad is expected to fire off the Falcon Heavy payload rocket in 2013. Until now, the cost of sending payloads into space has been expensive. The Falcon Heavy is the first rocket to cost less than $1,000 per pound and has become NASA's top choice for a cost-effective solution to maintain its off-Earth missions. SpaceX also has a lineup of other space-bound equipment that have received attention from NASA. In fact, NASA awarded $75 million to SpaceX for future contracts and tests of its Dragon capsule. The Dragon is a manned craft and testing will include the launch escape system engines, the initial designs of a port engine, and evaluations by NASA for seats, control panels, and cabin accommodations. A few weeks ago, we reported on Andre Finkelstein in his belief that the human race will discover extraterrestrial life forms in the next 20 years. In a recent interview with Russia Today, Finkelstein spoke about his logic and calculations of finding life forms on other planets. You see, there is this rational, if not purely scientific, outlook on the universe. A process can either be unique, or if there is at least one similar occurrence, then it is a regular phenomenon. Moreover, some of the recently discovered planets not only resemble the Earth by composition, but also seem to have oxygen. Next week, we'll be reporting from the 2011 MUFON Symposium in Irvine, California. Some of the speakers include astronaut Story Musgrave, Richard Dolan, Stanton Friedman, and Linda Moulton Howe. Remember, you can go to our website, openminds.tv, and find out more about the MUFON Symposium and other UFO news. We welcome your comments here on YouTube, and you can also email us at updates at openminds.tv. That's all from the Open Minds Studio. I'm Maureen Ellsbury, and thanks for watching.